Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. It's probably been like a month since I last made a video. Uh, I'm not even going to like sugarcoat a thing. I've just been quite lazy when it comes to making videos. Uh, you know, didn't really have anything to make. Uh, but I do have obviously, this pickup video right here. I've also got a games I recently completed that I want to do. And I'm still thinking about doing my top 20, uh, you know, favourite video games of all time. I keep I keep pulling it off, guys. I keep bottling out. But I really want to make that. Um, it's it's going to be so difficult to choose a top 20 because there's so many great games out there. And what order to put them in is going to be so difficult. But I do want to do that before the end of the year. So I'm I'm thinking about doing that. And just really unsure what order to put things in, you know. But anyway, let's get on with the pickup for you guys. So... Uh, we'll start off with the PS4 games and then we'll work our way down. So the first one is a rebuy. I'm so bloody happy to get this game. Because uh, I really like this. I picked this up back in the day uh, when I didn't really have you know too many PS4 games. And it's one of those games that I bought and I thought, you know, it's, it's going to be decent. But it went beyond that. It was so bloody good. It really, really surprised me. And I think I got it for like £16 or something back in the day. And... Um, Obviously, I sold it to get my money back, basically. Um, you know, at the time, because it was still, you know, price. I did, you know, intend to buy it back. And now I have for £3.50. Absolute bargain. It really bloody was. And that is uh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. I don't know if this game was, like, free on PlayStation Plus or something. Because, I don't know, the, pr the price of this was, like, dropped, like, so bloody, you know, steeply. But, yeah, Shadow of Mordor. Bloody excellent game, guys. Real bloody good stuff. Looking forward to playing this again at some point. So happy to have it back in the collection, you know. So it's kind of like a... It's a game you can be like stealthy or you can just go like straight into the combat. It's kind of... You know, you can do your own thing, really. Um, the combat for me was just so bloody good. You have to kind of like strategize, block at the right times and stuff. And if enemies killed you, they would level up. They would go up in rank, so they'd be stronger. Which means all the enemies have their own, like, you know, individual personalities. You could just be fighting like a random like crap enemy and then they kill you uh, out of nowhere and suddenly they just, they just level up and stuff. It's, it's a bloody cool feature. I really, really like that. I'm looking forward to getting the second one at some point. I heard there's quite a lot of like, wood, like wood crates and things in the second game. Don't get me bloody started with bloody wood crates. People gambling. I mean, I hope, I really bloody hope wood crates get banned. Because that is gambling. That's, that's encouraging kids to gamble. That's, that's ridiculous, guys. I have no problem with people gambling. I mean, a lot of people find, like, gambling, like, sports, and that's fun. But do not encourage kids to gamble with bloody games. Just, just don't. Just don't. But they stealing their, like, parents' credit cards and stuff to buy loot crates. I mean, just, just get out of here. It's, 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 it's beyond a joke, guys. It really bloody is. Um, I could make a separate video, like, ratting about loot, like, loot boxes and loot crates, or whatever you want to call them. It's gambling. It's, it's encouraging kids to gamble. I mean, this isn't a kids game, it's an 18 game, but in kids games, they have loot boxes and things. They're encouraging kids to gamble. It's beyond a joke. Anyway, guys, <laughs> let's get back to the, the pickup video, shall we? Sorry about that, guys. Um, I, just, I just hate that. I just hate the way gaming's going nowadays. With like, loot crates and, like, locked on disc, like, DLC. It's, it's beyond a joke. But yeah, guys, that comes complete. Let's get back onto, like, a more happy topic. It comes complete. Um, again, discs, just fantastic from what, yeah, pretty much, yeah, it's, it's mint condition, it's got a few, like, fingerprints, but no scratches at all, that's, that's fantastic condition, it really bloody is. So yeah, it's kind of like the Lord of the Rings kind of universe, which I do intend to watch at some point in Lord of the Rings, I mean, the only thing that really puts me off is the length, I mean, three hours for a film's kind of, it's a little bit long, but I do all watch Lord of the Rings at some point, so, and they get, like, high reviews and things, so... Yeah, it's kind of like the, this is like the Lord of the Rings universe. The Lord of the Rings kind of like style like enemies and things, with the Norks and things, and uh, golems in this game. So he makes an appearance. So um, yeah, good game. Looking forward to playing that again at some point. Don't know when I will, because I do have quite a lot of games I want to play through. But um, yeah, it's, it's good to have for three pound fifty. Couldn't resist. Uh, next, we will go on to a sports game, which I'll try and get out of the way quickly because you know, I know a lot of people don't really like to, you know, people talking about sports games. But I got PES 2018, yeah, PES. Not FIFA, PES. I do want to get FIFA 18 at some point. Um, you know, FIFA like, 19 is out soon, so that, you know, FIFA 18 will drop in price quite, you know, quite steeply. But obviously, it's a new football season, guys. 
and you know football on at the weekend and things. So I've been kind of kind of dodged to like get a new like a newer like, football game. And I went with Pez. I thought I would try something a little bit different because the last Pez game I played, I believe, was 2011. So yeah, seven years, you know, before this game. So I'm quite behind in Pez. And it's uh, to be honest, it's what the change, you know. FIFA for me, it's I mean, it's it's good enough, but like the career mode, the manager mode, it's kind of there's something lacking in it. So I thought I'd get Pez, give that a try. It's um, I think I got this for like. Seven pound or something, so not too bad. So the new Pez is out now, so again this game will drop in price quite immensely. This is again mint condition, absolutely fantastic. Um, there's some things I like about it, some things I don't. Obviously, I don't like how I like the English clubs and that are not like licensed, you know, teams. You still got London FC, you got Manchester Blue, Manchester Red, uh, Merseyside Blue. But you've got Arsenal, so I'm, I'm happy with that. You've got Arsenal, you've got Liverpool, you've got Fulham, you've got... Is there another team? You've got to be more. Come on, you've got to be more. Is that the only English clubs that are licensed? It could be. That's the only ones I can really think of. Uh, to be honest, the rest are just like, you know, different names. Like East Sussex, and, or West Sussex, and whatever the, <laughs> whatever the hell the teams are called. But I, I do like it. The gameplay is quite fun. Again, there is still like a an imbalance. I mean, playing against like London FC is harder than playing against Liverpool for some reason, just because they're like a rival club to Arsenal, I guess, in like the Master League. So that, that's kind of weird. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of that. But I do like the Master League. I do like how you can like see like the team, uh, the players like overall, which I really wish to bring that back to FIFA. And FIFA cannot be bothered with all the like, body scouting and stuff. And end up buying a player that you think's better than what they actually are and stuff. I, I don't like that at all. Which again, something that Pez in my opinion do better. You can see the overall of the players in Master League, which I kind of like. But I, I don't know the commentary. It's it's funny, but it's not. It's, I wouldn't say it's good. It's just like over the top. You know, you've just got like like guys like shouting every time like a player goes to shoot. You know, which it's kind of funny like I say, but it's 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 bad at the same time. So bad that it's good. Yeah, the commentary, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm enjoying it. I think it's quite fun. Um, yeah, Pez. What can more can I say? Because I don't want to talk about it too much because I know a lot of people don't like sports games. So uh, next we'll go into a game that I really wanted to get into, but I cannot get into this game. I really really can't. I don't even think I'll bother. Um, uh, you know, just get that film of a game, but you just don't think you're ever going to get into it, and you know, you just think you might as well just get rid of it. I'm kind of like that with this game, and that is Prey. Not people really like this game. You can see why, I mean, it does have some appeal to it, but for me, I, I, just, I just can't get into it, I really, really can't. It's kind of like a horror, like, thriller, I guess. You're, like, going through, like, this kind of, like, space kind of thing, you've got these, like, uh, enemies called Mimics coming at you and stuff. I mean, you have to like, kind of like strategize each fight, because you die really quickly in this game, uh, which is probably something I, I just can't really get. It's probably one of the reasons why I can't get into it. It's, it's really difficult in my opinion, uh, because yeah, it comes complete. This was uh, £6, I believe. So yeah, it's, it doesn't go for much more than that. It's, it's quite a cheap game to get nowadays. Uh, disc, again, mint condition. So, yeah, about an hour and a half into it, and it's a gorgeous looking game, it really, really is. A lot of the visuals, the details and that are really bumming good. But I, I just can't get into it, guys. I really, really can't. And I'm sad to say that. Because, you know, you can tell that like, developers not put a lot of, like, you know, effort into this game. A lot of, you know, a lot of effort with the detail and things. But, I don't know, I just can't get into it. I really, really can't, guys. So, um, yeah, Prey. Again, I've not played this for like a month, so... It kind of looks like I've abandoned it, so... Yeah, it's it's not for everybody, guys. You know, it's kind of like one of those games you're either gonna love or hate. But for me, I'm I'm kind of towards the hate side. I'm sorry, I cannot I just cannot get into it, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, next PS4 game we have got is Sonic Forces. Everybody's favorite Sonic game. <sighs> yeah, I finally got round to getting it. I really wanted to get it at some point, and I got this for twelve pound. And I played it yesterday for an hour and a half. It only arrived yesterday. You know, I bought it on eBay, so yeah, I finally got around to getting, uh, you know, playing it, and obviously an hour and a half in, and I don't know, there's something missing, there really, really is. 
I'm not going to say it's a bad game. I wouldn't say it's a bad game at all, but there's just something missing. There's something about the way the characters control. It just feels a little bit off, you know. Let's back at that. But again, I don't think it's quite as bad as people are making out. I mean, a lot of people like, hate this game to death. Like, probably bash it, but I don't know. Here it comes complete. I didn't get the cards. I think they're supposed to come with, like, cards or something. Art cards, but I guess the seller must have kept them or something. Or either he, or maybe he bought it without them, you know, already present, but... That's dusty as hell, that is. Yeah, there's no scratches, but it's kind of, it's kind of dusty, what the hell? But yeah, Sonic Forces, uh, £12, you create your own character, you play, like, as your created character, and you play, like, like you know, modern Sonic, and you play as classic Sonic. So it's kind of like Sonic Generations, where you've kind of got a mixture of gameplay, but it's nowhere near as good as Generations, obviously, but I, don't know, I still think it's decent. You could say it's, it's nowhere near as bad as people make out, but it's, again, this is something about the way the characters control, it just feels a little bit off. Um, like the character creation, there's not really a lot to it. I mean, you like complete missions and you unlock like new things for your character, but as far as like you know, like the like the beginning of the game, there's not really much you can do with your character. I mean, like the character I created, I had, I, had, I went into this having no idea really what character I wanted to create, but I created like, this black and white like wolf kind of like character. Like the kind of, like the character models are kind of like, based on animals. So you've got like a cat, a wolf, a dog. Um, I can't even bloody remember the other ones, but it's kind of like based on like animals and things. A hedgehog, you can create like a original hedgehog. Um, but yeah, I went with a black and white wolf, which again it looks kind of cool, I guess. But again, it's not really like a lot of accessories that I've unlocked yet to like attach to them. So I'm sure by the time I've completed the game. I'll have loads of accessories by the time I can put the game. I'm probably not going to play it anymore, probably not, but we'll see how it goes. I love the music. The music's great. Um, a lot of people, again, are kind of mixing the music. It's kind of like electronic stuff. I like it. I think it's a really, really good, you know, soundtrack. Um, plus, like, Infinite, like, the boss for Infinite, the fight with Infinite was a really good soundtrack. And Infinite's theme in general was really bloody good. It's kind of like a, a rappy kind of thing. It's, it's bloody awesome. Really, really is. Uh, I'm probably going to listen to that more, you know, when I'm not playing the game, because I really like the soundtrack. But yeah, apart from that, the game's average. Um, like I said, I'm only about 10 missions in or something, so I might be able to give like a more accurate opinion once I've completed the game, but it does feel... It does feel lacking. Put it that way. And I realise this video's going to go on for too long, so I need to try and like, speed it up a little bit. So I'll mention this as well, because um, Stars Gaming sent me now a Christmas present. And that was the Crash Insane Trilogy. Which, you know, I was more than grateful to receive. This game is so bloody fun. I've had so much fun in this game. So much frustration. But so much fun at the same time. Um, I went with Crash 2 and 3. I went to try and get the Platinum Trophy, which I have managed to do. But those time trials, oh my god. Those time trials were so frustrating. Some of them yet to be like so bloody precise. It took many, many attempts to do some of those time, you know, time relics. But I got them in the end. I got the platinum trophy for both Crash Two and Three, which I'm, you know, I'm so happy to do. But Crash One, I don't think I'm going to bother. Something, there's still something about Crash One that I'm not really a big fan of. I mean, this is probably the best way to play Crash One. But what a Crash One allows me, they seem to like drag on and on, like you know the Sunset Vista and stuff. Just they take a bloody eternity, they really bloody do, they feel so long. Am I going to get the time trail for them? What the hell no. Uh, I don't even think I'm going to bother them, I don't think I'm going to like attempt it. It seems more like hassle than it's worth. But yeah, let's let's go let's go off the topic of the relics and things, let's talk about the games in general. The games look absolutely bloody stunning, they really, really do, the detail and stuff and things, it looks so bloody good. The levels look gorgeous, you know, absolutely bloody gorgeous. Uh, Crash One, like so Crash One, still my least favourite in the trilogy. Um, I don't know. Crash One for me, it was it was decent enough, but again, it's just like so many like frustrating parts of it. A lot of like, the hitboxes seem a little bit off in some of the levels in Crash One. Hitboxes seem a bit weird in all the games, but especially Crash One, you know, uh, like the the road to nowhere. I think it was where you're up, up like. Obviously, like the bridge and things. Some of those jumps are so difficult to make. I think I lost like 30 lives or something trying to make some of those jumps. 
I'm not even ju- bloody exaggerating. For like 30 lives. Crazy. There's something that did seem really, really rough about the, you know, the Road to Nowhere levels, or is it, I can't remember what everyone's called, but once the Road to Nowhere, there ones High Road, I think it was, yeah, those levels are so blooming off with hitboxes, it's unreal. But yeah, Crash 2 and 3, again, absolutely fantastic, real love the detail. For me, Crash 3, for me, it's something like the vehicles felt a little bit off, like, um, I love in the PS1, you know, Crash 3, I love the jet ski levels with Coco, they're so bloody fun. And this, they're alright, but the controls, I don't know, something feels a little bit off about the vehicle controls. And, like, the bike levels seem, like, more difficult in this than what they did in the original Crash 3. Like, then the racing, it's, it felt so bloody difficult, it really, really did. Um, but, yeah, I just cannot fault, like, how much like, effort to put into it, the details. The details are gorgeous. Really, really do, guys. And, like I say, point for this game was not, you know, point for these games was an absolute blast. Like I say, especially Crash 2 and 3. Um, like some of the remixed like soundtracks and are so bloody good, you know. I was kind of a little bit, you know, skeptical going to because I obviously I love the original Crash Bandicoot, like you know the original Crash Bandicoot trilogy music. But some of the remasters are really bloody good. Some of that I even prefer to like the, you know, the, the PS One game, especially like the original game. I think Crash One had kind of like a, an average soundtrack, but in this they made it so bloody good, and uh, it really, really did. So you know, props to them for that. So, yeah, the Crash Insane Trilogy had a blast with this game, guys. Like I say, frustration trying to get some of the, you know, the time relics, but overall, had a blast of it. Really, really good stuff. So, yeah, thanks for Star Wars Gaming again. Um, so bloody happy you know, sent me that as an early pre- Christmas present. I can't thank him enough. So, we'll go on to the PS3 games now. I need to try and, like, speed it up a little bit, because I don't want this video to go on forever. I know I've been kind of <laughs> going and getting sidetracked and ranting about things, like loot boxes and things, but... Yeah. Anyway, guys, yeah, we got on with PS3 games. First one I got, I think, for £3, and that is SSX. So, you're not really big into, like, snowboarding. Uh, I had, I think I've got Cool Borders 2, I think, on PS1. That game's quite fun. Except, even though I'm not really big into snowboarding. But a lot of people seem to really, really like this game, so I thought I'd, uh, you know, pick it up and give it a shot. Comes to point. And again, I think the disc is, again, mint condition disc. Yeah, I think this is a, it's a pretty damn fun game. Uh, I've only played it for maybe like half an hour, but from what I played, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, probably something I'm going to you know, try and get back you know, get back into. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good looking game, and the like, snow like, thing looks really bloody cool. Uh, like, the tricks that you can do, they're kind of, you know, they're quite satisfying enough you know, to pull off. Uh, so yeah, SSX, looking forward to getting into that again. Because I can't really comment too much on it, but it seems fun. You know, if you like snowboarding, I would definitely recommend it. And the next one, I can play this game, and it was such a trial. <laughs> it was such a trial. I did not I did not really like this game very much at all. I liked it at the beginning, but... Saw. So, Saw so the video game. I got this for, I think, £4. Do you want to play a game? I've seen like the first like four Saw films. Saw 1 and 2 were really good in my opinion. The rest were just so average. It just like started like, adding cards. I just, I just didn't like, give a damn about it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, like, see it comes complete. I think this is like mint condition as well. Yeah, mint condition. Yeah, this game, it started alright, but... You know, once you get into it, it's just like the same like kind of like style puzzles like over and over again. This got really, really frustrating in my opinion. It had like you play as a character and stuff. You didn't really give a damn about. Like I say, at least like Saw One and Two, you had like characters, you had, like character development and things. I thought it was really, really good in the first two Saw films. In this, your character just feels so bland and yeah. Just, I don't know. I think a game like this might have worked if it had like a really like, strong you know, like cast of characters. And you didn't really want, like, characters not to get killed and things. Take, like, Until Dawn, for example. That game had, like, so, like, amazing character development. It was a game, a horror game, that you really cared about the characters. You didn't want the characters to die. It had amazing character development. I felt guilty when I let a character die by mistake. Obviously, the story, like, continues and things. But I felt so bloody guilty. I really, really did. But in this, like I said, this had no... 
but the characters had no personality, so you, you didn't really care if they died or not. So yeah, it kind of like defeated the like the point, you know, the point of the game. The combat just feels like really, really stiff. Like say the puzzles really, really repetitive. Just the same kind of things over and over again. A little bit more challenge as the game goes on, but again, puzzles nothing, nothing too special. So yeah, I play through it. I struggle my way through it because I just it got to the point I just couldn't be bothered anymore. Uh, to be honest, it's not a long game, but it felt long just because of how boring it is. So yeah, so wouldn't recommend that. I recommend, I recommend it like if you like the Saw films, maybe give it a shot. Because, I mean, it's quite cheap nowadays, but just don't expect much, you know, it's... You're probably not going to like it, <laughs> you know. At least what, from what I've read online, people don't seem to like it very much. And uh, next game I've completed as well, and I really, really enjoyed this game. I may have given this, like, an 8 out of 10. But because of how frustrating, like, the final two missions were, I'd probably drop it to, like, a 7. And that is uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Which I got for £2.80, which is a really, really good price. And this has uh, trophy support, which I was kind of surprised about, because this is, you can see, it's the red thing. Like, the red label thing. Very, very early, you know, PS3 game. This was even on PS2. It's that uh, old. Um, let's see. 2008. So, yeah, very, very early PS3 game. But it got a patch. It got, it got uh, trophy support. Here comes complete. Again, I think this was, like, mint condition as well. Yeah, mint condition. Everything about this game looks good, you know, it's got the, the cover and that, it looks, looks bloody awesome, you know, look at that, bloody awesome cover, got to, you know, give it props for that. As far as, like, Star Wars goes, as, like, the movies go, I've only seen, like, the first five episodes, and I've got to say, guys, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a bit average on them, to be honest, I'm going to, I'm going to say this, I'm popular opinion coming in, probably, but I'm going to say episode three is my favourite so far. Uh, Revenge of the Sith. I thought Anakin in that film was so bloody good. I really, really enjoyed his character in that. And, uh, yeah, this film was so bloody good. Much, you know, his character improved so much compared to episode 2. And definitely episode 1, where he was a little kid and, oh, he's so bloody annoying. And episode 2 was, like, really, like, eh. He just felt so bloody average. But in 3, his facial, like, his facial expressions and things were so bloody good. I really, really liked it when he turned to the dark side. So bloody awesome. I loved it. Absolutely tremendous. Really good film, in my opinion. But yeah, I thought episode 4 and 5 were just... I don't know. You probably maybe have to grow up with it. But I just thought they were really, really boring. Just, like, the action scenes and that, for me, just felt really... I'd say average. So yeah, I'm probably going to get hated for that. But episode 3 is my favourite so far. I'm looking to you know watch all the Star Wars movies at some point. But yeah, the original trilogy just doesn't seem that good. I'm sorry, guys. A lot of people like praise it to the moon, but I'm not that into it. Like saying, you probably have to grow up with it, which I didn't. So that's probably one of the reasons why I didn't really like it too much. But anyway, yeah, let's get on with this game. This game's really, really good. It's like a hack and slash game, but obviously in like, the Star Wars universe, you're obviously a Jedi with a lightsaber and things. I think you're Star Lord or something, I think your character is. And obviously Darth Vader and that's in the game, which is bloody awesome. Um, yeah, it's a really, really good, you know, good game, good hack and slash game. Uh, good action, a lot of act, a lot of like enemies on the screen at the same point, at, you know, at the same time, and like the frame rate doesn't seem to like drop or anything, which is bloody awesome. You know, you think with a lot of actions on the, like the screen at the same time, you think it'd be like a lot of glitches and things, but it seemed really bloody, you know, stable. So I'll definitely give it props for that. Um, yeah, in my opinion, good game. So the, like the last two missions were really bloody difficult and frustrating, but. You know, the game as a whole, my opinion, really bloody good. I like how you can like level up your character, you get like new moves and things. You can upgrade his like vitality and stuff, and like his like defense, so you can like take more damage and things. So it's like a, kind of like an RPG element to it. So but yeah, I thought it was a good game, guys. Really, really uh, good stuff. Looking forward to getting the second game. I think the second game's not as good as this one, uh, from what people say. But I want to get it at some point because this this was definitely a positive experience. I really enjoyed that. If it wasn't for the final two missions, it'd be like a an eight out of ten. But I'm gonna give it a seven because it was bloody frustrating and difficult later on. But the fight with like, like Darth Vader and that was really bloody cool. I enjoyed that. Okay, so next we'll go on to the three PS2 games that I found at a charity shop all on the same day. And we've got to see all three of these games are they're not really that good. Uh, to be honest, I thought I would maybe enjoy them, but I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna play through any of these games. No, but. Below average, in my opinion. But the first one 
is uh, Fur Fighters. Uh, Vigo's Revenge. It's weird. Back in the day, guys, I remember seeing this at co-op. <laughs> uh, I remember I'd, I'd been at my granny's at, like, one weekend. We obviously went to the co-op to do some, like, shopping and things. And I remember seeing this. This was when I had PS1. This was before I had a PS2 console. And I remember looking at this and I was like, oh, my God, these graphics are so bloody good. <laughs> but obviously, they're not. They're just, like, like cartoon graphics. I mean, the graphics are kind of cool. You know, like, cartoon, like, style. But yeah, just like thinking, like looking back, thinking these graphics were absolutely tremendous when I had a PS1 console, you know. And I remember this being like £20 at like my local co-op, which is crazy. Crazy to think about, because this game's not really that good. Um, See, so it doesn't come complete. As an old Granger Games sticker. God, rest in peace Granger Games. I bloody miss Granger Games, I really, really do. I don't have a game shop near me anymore, guys. You know, Granger Games shut down. Really, really sad stuff. It really bloody is. Um, so the only really like place nearby I can get games is charity shops now. No Granger games anymore. Um, but let's see, does it come? Yeah, it's quite, it's quite scratched. Um, I don't find anything that would stop it from working. But yeah, it does have quite a few marks on there. But yeah, this game, the controls are. Uh, this feels so awkward, and it's just not really that fun to play. Um, it's kind of like a, like a platform or action platform where you like shoot things, you have to like look around levels to try and like find things and yeah. Not for me, one pound forty five, I'll probably sell that because I don't think I'm going to play it. Just, it seems frustrating and annoying to me. Uh, next one is Jacked. Which I wanted to get for a little while because I remember seeing it and I looked a little bit like, you know, Road Rash, which also I'm a big fan of on the PS1. But yeah, this game, it's not that good. It really, it really, really isn't. Again, not complete either. Again, Danger Games. The disc is... It's actually not too bad. Pretty damn decent, actually. For a you know, charity shop game, it's a pretty decent condition disc. Yeah, it's kind of like, like say, it's kind of like Road Rash, where you're on motorbikes racing, you can... Obviously, hit enemies with like chains and things. I don't know. Something about it just feels it's difficult. It's a difficult game. Uh, I've, I've played maybe like five races. I didn't win a single race. I think that like, the best I got was uh, second, and even that was a struggle. And uh, yeah, this game's this game's kind of challenging. So um, I don't know. I'm, I might try and get into this at some point, but again, it's an almost frustrating game. It really, really is. And the last one is Dead to Rights Two. Which I'm very disappointed about. This game I thought was going to be really, really good. But it's not. It's really, really not. And this is the best pickup as well. This game goes for maybe about £10 on eBay. So I was really surprised at that. Um, that's, that's crazy. You know? I thought this would be another one of those games that just went for like a couple of pounds. Maybe like two or three pounds. But it seems like a, like a more like uncommon game. So I love that cover with the dog. Or the wolf, I should say. It's bloody awesome. Here comes complete. And the disc is pretty damn decent. Yeah, not many scratches on that. So yeah, I've tried to play it. It's kind of like a fast-paced, like, arcade kind of, like, shooter. One of the things that frustrate me about this game is... There's a couple of things that frustrate me, actually, is the fact that if you die, you have to, like, start the whole level again, which is bloody stupid. I really, really hate that. It's really, really, like unfair when it comes to the checkpoint system and also the fact that if you pick up ammo for a gun it would automatically like, switch to that gun which is so bloody bad you know you're like shooting with like a, a machine gun and stuff and then like, you accidentally like, pick up shotgun ammo and the next minute you're like shooting a shotgun without you even like realizing it because the game just it's obviously like really really fast paced and you're like, trying to shoot with a shotgun from long range because you accidentally picked up ammo for it I don't bloody know, guys. That, it's a really, really weird feature. You know, just... I don't know why it does that. Maybe there's an option to change that. Where if you pick up ammo, it would, like, automatically switch to that weapon. I, I hate that. That is so bad. Um, I'm still not really a big fan of that at all. Um, but, yeah, for me, it just feels difficult and frustrating. I mean, for me, it's just really disappointing. I mean, I've got the, um, the PS3 game right here, right? 
And this game was like a, I'm saying this game's a hidden gem. This game really bloody good. I really like it. It was like a five, six hour long game, but it was so bloody good. Controlling the dog and that was awesome. And I like, you know, the bond between the dog and, you know, Jack. Is it Jack? Yeah, it's Jack, yeah. I knew the beginning of a J, but yeah, Jack and Shadow. My, my opinion, the bond between the two characters are really bloody good. And I just love this game. This game's fantastic. But yeah, this game just, eh, not really that good. I don't know what the original game's like. I know it's obviously the original game, but um, I think there's different characters in the original game. It's not Jack and Shadow. Probably just like a generic shooter without the dog, probably, but... Yeah, I might get it at some point, but this one just... I don't know, maybe at some point I'll go back to it, but at the moment, I'm probably not. <laughs> and yeah, that's it, that's it for the, the games, guys. I do have one more pickup, and it's a book pickup, which I got yesterday. Um, for a pound, and that is, when I saw this, I just had to grab it, when I saw that, Aliens, Ooh. I just had to grab it, and it is the Aliens the Labyrinth, which, just, I don't really see, like, horror books, like, in the wild very often, I mean, you could buy them brand new, for, like, six or seven pounds, but I don't really want to do that, but, like, charity shops, you very rarely like, ever see, like, horror books, so if I do, if I, you know, if I do see them, I grab them, you know, so I might read this in, like, October, you know, with the whole Halloween kind of thing, I might, you know, read this one, because I'm obviously reading the book at the moment, and I'm one of those people, I can't really read, like, multiple books at the same time, I have to read, like, one book at a time, it's not like games where I have, like, play, like, multiple games, I just have to, like, with books, I have to, like, concentrate on one book, otherwise, just, like, I go into another book and just, like, totally forget about the other one, um, so, yeah, I'm kind of like that with books, so, um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, giving this a read, uh, that's did I mention it was a pound, it was a pound for this book, uh, it's quite an old book. I think this was like 1997, I think. 19, 1984. So yeah, really bloody old book. Um, yeah, it's over 20 year old. Crazy. Yeah, it's quite an old book. Uh, maybe about 200 odd pages or something, is it? Uh, yeah, just over 200 pages, but 208 pages. Yeah, definitely looking forward to giving this a read, because I've got these ones here. And I thought these were a really good book, especially that one. That was a really good book. That one's... It's decent, but in my opinion, this was a, this was a great one. I love the covers of these books, so these are fantastic. You can see that it kind of shines a little bit. It's so bloody good, and I like the feel of these books are so bloody cool. And great material. But yeah, the cover of this one as well. Absolutely fantastic. I love the alien with the, obviously, like the nest and things with the, the people. They've obviously been implanted with, you know, the alien and stuff. But yeah, definitely, guys, definitely happy to have that, because I do love the whole, like, Aliens franchise, I think it's real bloody good. Uh, I like the games, like, Alien Trilogy, I thought was a real good game, <clears throat> and I like, you know, Alien Colonial Marines, even, uh, despite its faults, I mean, I do kind of like it to a certain degree. I like Alien vs. Predator on the PS3, I thought that was a good game as well. Uh, Alien Isolation on PS4, that game was tremendous, real bloody good game, I need to get that back at some point, because that game was real bloody good. You know, getting stalked by the alien and stuff, not being able to defend yourself too well, that game was... It had you on, your, like, on the edge of your seat, it was really bloody cool. And obviously the movies, in my opinion, are really good as well. Alien, Aliens, and Alien 3, in my opinion, are really good movies. Uh, not so much Covenant, I thought that was kind of a letdown. Had a couple of good scenes, but overall it just felt kind of boring. But uh, yeah, I don't really get why a lot of people like hate Alien 3. I thought Alien 3 was a good film. I uh, don't really, like I said, don't get why it gets quite low ratings. I thought it was a good movie. Uh, but I'd say Aliens is probably my favourite one, you know, the second movie. Uh, just because, like, there's multiple, al like, multiple aliens and things that had, like, more action in it and stuff. So, yeah, I'd probably say that's probably why that's my favourite one. It's an absolute... I'd say all three films are really good. All three of the original alien films are so bloody good. Uh, in my opinion, definitely some of the best, you know, horror movies out there. Anyway guys, yeah, that'll do for this pickup video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it's not went on too long. I've not looked at how long the video is yet, but I'm sure it's probably like half an hour or something at least. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I uh, hope, hope I've come across alright. I do feel a little bit rusty when it comes to like, making videos. Even if you don't make a video for like a week, uh, I feel like, you know, I feel rusty. Even not making a video for a week, I still feel kind of rusty. Not to mention a month, which... See, this has been like a month since I last made a video, so I feel like extra rusty, got a shake off that rust. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this anyway. Uh, let me know what you've been playing recently, let me know what you think of any of these games. Especially, uh, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on Sonic Forces. 
So I know this game's... It's quite criticised. I want to know your guys' thoughts on Sonic Forces. Is it as bad as people make out? Because I would say no. I would say it's definitely lacking, but I, would, I wouldn't say it's as bad as what people making out. I still think it's a decent enough game. Garbage to look at. Just the control feels a little bit off, but... I don't know, it's still a decent game. I would still recommend it to Sonic fans. Just don't expect too much. It's definitely better than Sonic 06. It's better than Sonic Heroes. It's better than Shadow the Hedgehog. It's better than... Might be better than Sonic Unleashed. But obviously it's not a patch on like the classic Sonic games. It's not it's not a patch on Sonic Generations. But it's it's still a decent game. So um I'll give it that. I'm I'm gonna I'm probably gonna play more of that today. I know it's a short game, so I'm probably gonna complete that like in the next couple of days. So I might do a quick review on it or something, maybe. We'll see how it goes. If you wanna see a quick review guys, definitely let me know. And I'll I'll definitely do it for you guys. So anyway guys, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I don't want to slaver on too long, so hope you guys enjoyed this. Catch you all later. See you guys.